today I'll be showing you how to create this fully customizable, super cool 3D text animation right in PowerPoint. So let's jump right into it to learn how to do it. So we're just going to start by changing the layout to blank and inputting some text. And you can write whatever you want in here, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to write text because I don't have anything specific to write. And we can format it by changing the font to pop-ins, bolding it and just sizing it up to a size that I like and I want it quite big so we're going to make it 287. We're also going to center it, align middle and go to shape format, align center and align middle. Now we can start properly formatting the rest of the effects on this text before we animate it. So we're going to go text effects and we can really go into anywhere, we can just go shadow and just go shadow options. That just opens up this format shape tab over here which is quite helpful as that's where we're going to be doing most of our editing. So we're going to choose the preset over here from the first one over here which is the, the outer right one over here. And we can also change the reflection just to the first one over here so it's got a reflection like what was shown in the preview. Now in the 3D formatting over here we can just change the depth to 30 and we can also change the depth colour to black while we're at it and right now you don't see anything because we're seeing the text from straight on so it's just 2D right now but we can add a 3D rotation so that we can see that. So to enable this perspective view which is what we want we're going to just go into perspective over here and just choose something like the first one over here and then we can add a 3D rotation of 320 on the X rotation, and that's really it. And that just brings the text around as shown on screen. We can also change the color to make it a lot nicer, and I'm just going to go with a nice gradient fill, which is just a, a dark blue over here from this first blue, which is just chosen in the standard colors. And that just gives it a bit of a nice effect, as if it's going out in the distance, getting a bit darker. So now we've got the shape formatted as so. And now we can start adding the animation, which is going, just going to be a fly-in animation as shown in the preview. We're just going to go to animations while selecting our object and go fly-in very simply and changing the effect options in the drop-down box over here to from right. We also can go into animation pane, double click on this animation and we're going to edit a few things here. If you saw one of my previous videos, I showed you this cool stagger thing that we can do with especially text. And what we're going to do is we're going to go by letter 50% so each letter comes on slightly before each other letter so the T will come on first and it'll be the E etc etc. We can also change the smooth end to be full so that it's basically has a smooth end when it flies in. So here is our final animation but don't go away because there's way more cool animations that you can do such as this intro animation shown on screen right now so make sure you go and click on the next video and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.